My name's Talia. Um, I'm from Talia Studio, we're based in Vienna, and we're in Ventura Lambra in the living room right now. In the living room, we're showing the Thermo booth, which is behind me. It's one of the projects where we're working on more human-based interaction with technology. It's a photo booth that takes pictures when two people kiss. To take a photo of a moment, instead of pressing a button, and you're triggering the photo to be taken through your own gestures. So what we've actually got in there is a Kinect, and we've hacked it. The Kinect is a motion sensor gaming device. Basically what it does, it reads contours at a certain distance that we've programmed, and when those two contours become one through touching, then it tells the computer to tell the camera to take a picture, take flash, and then print out the photo. So instead of a normal flash, we've got mirror OLED. The reason we have them is because it goes all back to selfie culture that was going on last year. So you've got these huge mirrors where you can check yourself out and then they're also the flash. It's a surface light, it's really, really thin, where the anode and the cathode are basically on top of each other and the surface is reflected. We've got a second project that we're showing in Milan and it's full holdables and it also explores this like, entire gestural interaction with technology. But this time we're using transparent OLEDs. We've got a camera, and here the OLED is a viewfinder and a flash, but we've changed it also to a touch sensor. No one's ever done that with OLEDs before. So when you see something that you really like, or you really love, you kiss it. There is a serious undertone to it, and it is to show the potential of the lighting technology. But we're wrapping it into something more contemporary that people could understand. Translating the social media language of, oh, I like, or I, I heart into a gesture that you kiss something when you see that you love it. We're obsessed with technology at the studio and we, we think it, it needs to be a bit updated the way that we interact with technology. Everything is moving so fast and you can do so much things with technology but we're still interacting with it as if it was 50 years ago.